XML has been a very good candidate to provide um, representation of uh, the data types in a very flexible format. Um, next generation network services being no exception. So we'd look at uh, what kinds of services could and many more be provided using XML. What is the competitive advantage of XML uh, versus more traditional um, programming languages? Um, and how basic scenarios could be configured uh, using uh, XML schema and XML processing. Of course, the implementation subsequently is going to be in a specific programming language uh, and runtime environment, but the parsing is done for XML. Um, various fora, including Parley, uh, Jane for uh, Java integrated networks, and the open uh, service access for universal mobile telecommunication standard. Uh, they require uh, the services to be created, deployed, executed, terminated, and removed uh, through APIs. These APIs to be used by uh, lay or wannabe developers. The service control markup language for Java, for instance, uses uh, Java control, um, J Java call control, a functionality provided uh, uh, by Java to be used by a markup language. The service developed in XML allows the ease and platform independence. That is why uh, the choice of XML is very natural. The call processing language and the service control markup language, uh, which are based on um, XML schema, allow the um, customizing developer to specify and constrain the uh, contents of uh, their uh, call flows or the call graphs per se. So this is not only type safe, it allows to define additional uh, uh, data types. This hence makes it more like a, a object oriented or an inheritance based uh, usage for uh, the markup language. Uh, this is a quick overview of how a service is created, deployed, and executed. Uh, starting from the top, we have the XML editor that creates the call control uh, markup language document uh, that is actually uh, coming from the service control markup language. Uh, then it is stored. The service control functions, which are more on-ground execution functions, um, query, retrieve, and activate the call control markup language uh, runtime environment, uh, which is if it in Java, it's um, uh, it's Java runtime environment. So it could be either um, Java call control, it could be SIP based, and this is how the services are executed, uh, created, deployed, and executed. Uh, and similarly, eventually these services shall be uh, terminated upon certain events. Let's look at two basic scenarios. One is the call processing language scenario using uh, CPL um, nomenclature and syntax for uh, redirection. That is, uh, uh, it, uh, is, it's a scenario in which a caller calls a callee. Uh, the callee is uh, busy. So the call is uh, redirected to the voicemail. Upon the receipt of the incoming call, the callee's address um, is uh, stored in a, in, a, in a global variable and uh, because it is being referenced by subsequent um, XML uh, schema based um, code that would be passed. If the callee is busy, the location uh, for the uh, callee is cleared um, and then it is in fact swapped with the voicemail address and the voicemail um, is uh, then activated. Uh, this is a simple CPL code snippet. We have the incoming call, uh, we have a busy situation, and the, the location is uh, you know, the voicemail and the uh, caller, the callee identity is cleared, and uh, it is redirected, and uh, voicemail starts uh, playing. That's it.
we ha we also have a service control markup language scenario in which we have a wake up timer set on uh, someone's uh, smartphone or or tab uh, such that it's a wake up alarm uh, through uh, wake up call application the user is uh, called every morning at uh, 6 am and uh, then some kind of audio file can be played to wake up the user so for that we need to create a call event and we need to notify the end user uh, uh, through audio file play up but if the user uh, somehow uh, if the particular routine doesn't work then some kind of error is notified to the end user uh, the xml uh, 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 node create call um, actually creates the whole event that uh, plays the audio file at a particular time this is the code snippet for the wake up call where we have uh, invocation of the service control markup language and the time is set periodically on daily basis every week start of the time is 6 am uh, the create call node uh, creates um, an event called wake up call and uh, uh, the, it refers to a uh, wake up music connection that is uh, the target file to be activated um, and the user is jones in a certain bedroom sleeping um, and once this particular event is triggered then appropriate audio file like music file is played this is a scenario where a user a can use service control markup language in a certain format to implement basic functionality of a, a reminder or a alarm based function the paper that i've referred to is uh, uh, from international conference on communications it is a very prestigious conference next generation service creation using xml scripting languages uh, you may refer to it for more details